I've been watching Farah on reality TV for quite some time now and she never fails to entertain. From her early days starring on MTV's Teen Mom to the current season of X on the Beach, her appearance has changed a lot. I cannot do this room, I'm not. That, no, that is like dorm style college. I've in 2008, Farrah Abraham, who was only 17 at the time, got her start with reality television on MTV 16 and Pregnant, eventually starring for years on the spin-off show Teen Mom, which is how most of us know her. You act like you're Mr. Home Ec and you can't listen to what I've said. It's like not, it's not hard. I think it looks good right now. I didn't oh. ask what you think. I said oh. what I said and you can't help. That, that's a some may also recognize Farrah from the adult movies that she starred in, which definitely caused scandal. However, Farrah didn't seem to hate the attention and the paychecks that came with this. This may also have something to do with her beauty transformation, because her look definitely isn't subtle anymore. In this video, we will be breaking down Farrah's transformation from the natural looking teen mom she once was to how she looks today which is a lot to cover. My name's Kara, and this series we've titled Before and After. We've done other videos on the likes of Nicki Minaj and the cast of Jersey Shore. This video took a lot of research, so be sure to hit subscribe and let me know who you want me to document next in the comments down below. First, we'll look at Farrah's cosmetic procedures. Farrah's gone under the knife plenty of times, but she doesn't try to hide it. Let's start with her face. In 2012, Farrah got a nose job and a chin implant by a doctor in Ball Harbor, Florida. This set her back around 20,000. Farrah explained, I finally feel gorgeous. I've hated my nose since I was 13. I don't have to hate anything on my face ever again. I feel gorgeous. This didn't last long though, and she opted to remove the chin implant in 2013. I think that in recent years, her nose looks even smaller, so she may have gotten it done more than once. They say for everything three times a charm, except when it comes to nose job. You don't wanna have a Michael Jackson collapsing situation. Moving on. In 2013, Farrah also began getting lip injections. Although some of her teen mom co-stars threw shade at her for this, plenty of them jumped on the bandwagon years later, getting a lot of work done themselves. I remember Farrah's lip injection journey pretty well. Who could forget her botched lip job in 2015? Photos circulated online making her a joke, but it was pretty scary. She wanted a lip implant because it was more permanent, but instead she got an intense allergic reaction. These days, Farrah has gotten some of her lip fillers dissolved. Posting a video this past summer, she explained that she didn't want too much filler on her top lip due to a fear of the duck lips look. However, in recent pics, her lips still look quite big. Wearing braces in her early days has also helped create the straight teeth and smile that Farrah has now. Moving on to Farrah's body. The star has gotten more than one boob job done. Her second attempt was the one which made a noticeable difference. In 2013, Farrah increased her C-cup size to a D, conveniently around the same time she started getting involved in the adult film industry. It's also no secret that Farrah has gotten her butt enhanced. I was born to flex. Yes. Diamonds on my neck. I like boarding jets, I like more than sex, but nothing in this world that I Looking at photos of Farah before and after, you can see the huge difference. Even her body shape has drastically changed in the past couple of years. She recently got scrutiny for a video she posted on her Instagram while getting butt injections done because her nine-year-old daughter Sophia was in the room watching the whole thing go down. Hey guys, so I'm showing you guys a booty secret right now. This booty cheek's done. And we are going in and we are getting done with this one. But that's another story. If all of this isn't shocking enough, last year Farah also underwent vaginal rejuvenation, which is a broader term for a handful of procedures done on one's lady parts. The shocking part isn't that she got it done, it's the fact that she shared the whole event on social media, even live streaming it. This <laughs> Apparently this was just one of the four procedures that went down to give her the designer vagina that she wanted. Although it might be considered too much information or outrageous, I do respect her confidence for not caring what other people think. It's beautiful, it's great, and I want to show you this. So we're going to go live live. Right now I'm going to numb the power pussy down here. <laughs> and um, once that's live then we'll kind of show you what's going on and then I'll do a full video. I'll probably post a full video tomorrow. Moving on to Farrah's hair and beauty look, she's also switched it up over her years in the spotlight. She's always had a dark, exotic appearance, likely due to the fact that her father is of Syrian and Italian background, while her mother is more fair-skinned. 
Farrah's hair at the beginning was dark brown, which looks like her natural color. Over the next few years, she dyed her hair a bit, but nothing drastic. Brunette seems to suit her, so she played around with varying shades. I like the light brown. In 2016, Farrah made a bigger change and went blonde, which she kept for almost a year. And the following year, she switched it up yet again, this time for a bold red color. I actually like this shade a lot on her. I think it was my favorite. These days, Farrah is back to a light brunette shade like we see her on this season of X on the Beach. Her natural hair is just past shoulder length, so she also clearly had hair extensions before to give it that length and volume. Although some think Farrah looks extra fake and appears to wear a lot of makeup, she's been showing off a natural look more often. Honestly, I think she might even look better without all the makeup. She still plays around with different looks and wears wigs sometimes to keep some variety. Altogether, Farrah has changed a lot since her debut on MTV 16 and Pregnant and Teen Mom. From all the work that she's got done, as well as her style evolution, she looks completely different than the girl next door we were first introduced to. Many might think she's extreme and over the top, but one thing's for sure is she has a ton of confidence. I don't think she lets the haters get to her. Thanks for watching guys and girls. My name's Kara, I'll be reading all your comments and liking the nice ones. Let me know who's next and I'll see you in another video. Bye!